So, do we have time to talk about reharmonization? Okay, let's, let's, a little bit, just a little bit. Why would you want to reharmonize a song or a piece of music in the first place? Why? Well, for different reasons, depending on who's looking at the music, depending on who's, depending on who, who's looking at the music, depending on, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the musicians, on, or the, or the composers, the composers, the arrangers, you know, it, it, there, there are multiple, multiple reasons why one would want to reharmonize uh, a, a piece of music or, or a song. For example, I would want to reharmonize a, a simple song to make it sound, you know, contemporary, to make it have a contemporary sounding, you know, texture, I would say. So, but if you, if you want to reharmonize a song or a, or a piece of music, that means you're going to use, you're going to use your own, your own feelings, your own judgments in order to do so. Because in any arrangement, in any musical arrangement, no matter how how many instruments you have in the in the music, and you you look at the the grand the grand staff, and then you see all those instruments. If you go, if you decide to reharmonize that music that you're looking at okay there are two specific things you need to to focus your attention on that those are the the melody the melody and the bass anything in in between okay anything in anything in between what this is this is somebody else's idea. This is somebody else's, you know, harmonization. So you may not want to to use that harmonization, that somebody else's harmonization. So in in this case, you go you go into reharmonize the song your way according to your own feelings according to your personality according to your uh, to your uh, soul according to your heart because you can recognize your favorite your favorite artist just by listening to his or her harmonization of of a song, okay? Because harmonization comes from within, from 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 your from the heart, from the soul. So we we don't harmonize the same way, okay? So the way the way you harmonize your song. May not be, may not. It's not going. To, it's not going to be the way I harmonize the same song, because we we don't feel the same way. We don't think the same way. Okay, we we have different personalities. Personalities. Okay, so you need to keep that in mind. Okay, so 
But there, there are a few things that you need to know to to do to do to reharmonize. Okay, for example. Okay, let, let me put it this way. You you have if you're going to reharmonize a song, whether on the bass or on the melody, there there are certain tools that you you need to pull out of your toolbox. Your musical toolbox. There are there are certain tools in your in your musical toolbox that you need to pull out to reharmonize a song. For example, chord chord substitutions. Okay? D direct substitution. Major for minor, minor for major substitutions. Substi chord chord substitutions. Tritone substitutions. Minor for dominant seventh, dominant seventh for minor chords substi substitutions. Dominant seventh for for dominant seven flat five sub substitutions. Altered chord. Sub substitutions I can go on and on and on and you have you have all kinds all kinds of chord substitutions you have you have direct chord substitutions is when you substitute the same type of chords like in like a C major for a C minor C and C okay stuff like that also uh what um oh you, you need to you need to ex explore the diatonic system in music okay because you know the especially the functional aspect of it okay because in the diatonic system system the diatonic system you you are dealing with with diatonic chords built on on the notes in the major scales or minor scales and so on okay so those chords are there all those chords are there because on each chord on each note in the scales you can build is you can build a, a seventh type chord and you can add tensions to them extensions so all those chords are available for you to use to substitute in order to reharmonize a song. Just like you can take a simple song in 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 a hymnal for, for example, which most songs in those hymnals are played in just I played with mostly the primary chords in the in the, in the keys. The um, root dominant, subdominant. Of course, you're going to see minor, minor, minor chords, minor chords. You might see some the variations, maybe sus four stuff like that. But those are simple chords okay now your job is to look at those chords the sample chords and to and to you know to convert 
them in to convert them into con contemporary sounding chords this is how this is one aspect of reharmonization okay you take simple you take a, you take a simple church song with basic tonic subdominant dominant a few variations like a, like a maybe dominant seven stuff like that and then you take those simple chords you transform them okay into into contemporary sounding chords okay by using the tools that you have available in your musical toolbox okay you don't you don't have to use somebody else harmonization if you don't want to okay you take now if you want to harmonize on the bass note it is you need to you need to remember you that the bass line in my opinion the bass line in any arrangement any musical arrangement is the is the is the fundamental is the fundamental harmonization of the song of the music because everything else is going to to just like rest on the bass line okay so if you're going to reharmonize on the bass line then you need to understand the, the functional uh, the functional um, the functional uh, uh, um, aspect of in the diatonic system because now you're gonna you're gonna be dealing with Roman numerals Roman numerals like one two four five and so on and so on so it's not gonna be you, you're gonna be thinking more about about numbers than letter names so is when you harmonize when you are reharmonizing on the bass note well bass notes okay so because the bass notes constitute the primary the principal harmonization of the music of the music yes of the music that in my opinion you you may you may you may think differently but that's the way I, I look at it okay so if you're going to one more time if you're going to we re harmonize on the on the bass line on the bass notes then you need to you need to understand your the concept of uh, sub uh, dominant subdominant uh, 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 root and the tensions that you need you're going to use to 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 uh, convert the simple chords into contemporary sounding chords okay now if on the other hand if you go if you're going to rehab to reharmonize on the melody notes then what you need to do you you need to look at all the notes in the song in the music they also have functions just like the chords you know they can be root dominant subdominant and so on so but the when you choose if you choose to reharmonize to to reharmonize 
on the melody notes. Now, you need to consider the three primary chords in the key that you in the key that you you using the root the subdominant and the dominant those are those are the prime those are the three primary chords that you you know this is where everything else is going to is going to is going to come from so now when you know when you know those primary those three primary chords you you just you know if you want you can just write them down you know write the notes down the notes of the chord and then now all three okay like okay you put like, for example you put okay c major c major c major c major seven that's that's the root and then you go to f major seven that's the that's the subdominant then you go you and then you you and then you you go you write the g seven the g dominant seventh that that's that's the dominant seventh so then you write the note you write the notes down and then you look at your you look at the notes on on a lead sheet for example or or, or in the music that you are you are reharmonizing and then you every note you see every note you see you go to the primary chord chords and then the the whatever primary whatever primary chord that you see that note you see that you see that note is the chord that you're going to use under that melody note okay and sometimes sometimes you may see one note that belongs to two primary chords now it's going to be your choice depending on the context of your music which one of those chords you're going to use now that's your that, that now that, that's the basic you're talking about basic the basic chords now now after you determine which chords which primary chords all those melody notes belong to okay and you have your and you and 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 then your next job now is to add colors to those to those uh, primary chords by using extensions such, such as 9 uh, 11 sharp 11 13 and so on or use chord substitutions or use a tritone and so on to make to reharmonize your music you don't have to play somebody else's harmonization if you don't want to the, 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 there are two things that you cannot get you know, there's two things in the music that you have no choice, okay? But to rely on is the melody and the bass. With those two, anything in between, you can add your stuff, okay? That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I do, you know? As a matter of fact, I like that's what I like to do. Okay, if I see a song, or I'm reading, a, I'm reading a sheet music, and I look at the arrangement, and I play it, and if it sounds good, if it if it sounds good to me, okay, I go with it. But if I feel like, but even if it sounds good, it may not fit my my personality. It may not fit my my uh, my identity, so I might change. It. So, whether you play classical music, popular music, whatever style you play, you can you can 
you know, we harmonize. Any piece of music you have in front of you. When it comes to harmonization, harmoni harmonization itself, like if you have a lead sheet in front of you, that's all you have. All you have is all you have is the melody. Then you you, you, got, you got to see what just like I just told you. You got to see what primary chords those notes belong to, and then now you 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 expand. You expand your you, you you expand upon that. Okay, so that's that's it for now. And I hope uh, that we had a, a very productive conversation. In the name of musical practice workshop. Today. Keyboard. Bye.